quite the day already. I delivered into Steinbach first thing this morning. The sun wasn't even up then yet and I was ready to go. So as soon as they got me unloaded, I went home for breakfast. Had a bite to eat at home for a little bit. Hung around, lost my keys, found my keys, and went back to work. So I dropped off all that equipment at our yard, and now I am booking it to Kenora. I wasted a little more time than I wanted to looking for those keys. It's just my luck, right? But we're still on schedule. We're barely on schedule, but we're going. We're going to pick up that load. We're going to head down to Minnesota. Just finishing up here. Kind of a mismatched load. Each section is different. But we got her all tarped up. I'm just sealing up the front there. And then we'll be off. We're in Fort Francis, Ontario, about to cross into International Falls, Minnesota. It's getting pretty late, but I uh, want to see how far we can get. We can get at least to Deer River, I think. Hence why we're at Timmy's. It's been a very quiet, quiet night. Not much traffic out. Filming this on a Thursday, so it's Thursday traffic. It's been a good day. It's been a busy week. I feel good about it though, we got a lot done. I know there's not much road footage from today, but... Man, if I don't catch that footage first thing in the morning, it's dark. My paperwork is cleared to cross. I got nothing to report really, it's been a... It's been a good day. 
You know what? Tomorrow's going to be another good day. I'm feeling uh, like... Uh, I've been feeling really good the last couple of days. Not just high energy, but high positivity. Like really just... Happy to go home. Happy to drive my truck. Just happy. And I hope you're happy too. Because I go through times in life just like you where everything seems to go wrong. Or maybe when I focus on the negative too much and that just makes it worse, right? The trick is if you want to be more positive, focus on the positive. Easier said than done. Oh yes, we'll get at least, at least a Deer River on that. It's kind of funny. Apparently they closed the store down at 10 o'clock. Google says they're open 24 hours a day. No, no, Google. Just the drive through is open 24 hours a day. I wish Google would clarify that because it's happened more than once to me where I go to a store and they're like, no, 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 we're open 24 hours, but it's just drive through. You gotta go through the drive through. I'm like, I'm driving a 75 foot rig. I can't fit, I would love to. I'd love it if they'd make Tim Horton's drive throughs big enough for semis. That would be amazing. Can you imagine the business they'd get? Anyways, I mean, I'm just saying you can make a lot of money, Timmy. So I had to do the, the awkward thing and walk through the drive through I was the only one, right? I was like, oh, whatever, I'll walk around and order at the window. No problem. Of course, as soon as I walk around, there's a lineup of cars that come behind me, all staring at me as I'm just like walking down the drive through <laughs> Maybe they didn't think it was as awkward as I felt, but I felt awkward. I'm just sort of like giving them the awkward wave. You know, the, the pursed lip head nod? Doesn't get more Canadian than that. Just brief eye contact, just... Yeah. <laughs> we wondered, what's this guy doing? Is he drunk or something? No, it's just Trucker Josh, he wants a coffee. He's tired, okay? They won't let me in the building, so I gotta walk around here with you guys. <laughs> They're like, why aren't you in a car? <laughs> ah, oh well. They'll come around. And they'll see me in the truck and that, that'll that make make more sense to them, I think. They can see me, I parked across the street, so whatever. That was fun. And they took forever to make my order too, right? Which is okay, I don't mind, whatever. I'm not complaining about that, but <laughs> sitting there awkwardly, just twiddling my thumbs, waiting for my order at the window, looking back at the cars every couple of seconds, like, yeah, huh? <laughs> Uh, I feel weird doing that. I don't know. Has, uh, have you ever seen anyone else do that before? Have you ever done that before? continue on this vlog the very next day. I don't always like combining two days into one like this. I like to give you two two vlogs for two days, but today you're getting one for the price of two. Two days for the price of one vlog. I know, I know, you got cheated out of a day's vlog, I'm sorry. But uh, the sun goes down so quick and I gotta be on the ball filming because once the sun goes down, there's no point in filming stuff because you can't see anything. So we're gonna just split yesterday and today. I'm on my way home. I'm empty now. I know some of you like to see the loading process and unloading process. Sometimes I'm just not able to do that. That could be because I'm in a big rush or that could be because I have to be careful who I film, like people. And sometimes I have to be worried about, uh, be worried about, you know, just making sure that everything gets done. I'm sorry, I can't always show it. I try to when I can though. I promise I will when I can. So, uh, that load that we tarped yesterday, Three gallon, three gallon, there's my tarps all nicely rolled up. And we don't have any backhaul to get home. Today is Friday morning when I'm filming this and I wanna go home. I wanna go see my wife and my baby. So oh, I got no backhaul, it's about a five hour drive back home. It's not too bad. I'm just gonna head back like this. Whole load of motorcycle doors. I got them tied down tight, so don't worry. I got a little bit of sailboat fuel at the back there. Got that tied down as well. I'm gonna 
uh, head up through uh, cool so I'm in Brainerd, Minnesota. From here, I'm going to head through Pillager, Minnesota, grab fuel because it's cheaper. $3.71 a gallon US for me there. That's my price with my fuel card there. Uh, we get discounts through our fuel cards uh, and fleet cards and stuff. So it's not exactly the posted sticker price, so it kind of feel, makes you feel special. But uh, I got to go there and uh, pay for that. So I'm going to head west from here, from Brainerd through Pillager, and then to Detroit Lakes. I'm going to head up Highway 59 from Detroit Lakes towards Canada. Since I've only got a load of motorcycle doors and sailboat fuel on my trailer, I can cross through from Lancaster, Minnesota into Tolstoy, Manitoba. That'll cut about a half hour off my trip home and go through a non-commercial crossing because um, I don't have any goods on my trailer so I can cross through there, but they close down at six o'clock so I have to make sure I get there before then. That shouldn't be a problem. And then uh, th that'll be that. So I'm also looking forward to some of the pizza that they have at Pillager Truck Stop at the Casey's. <laughs> I know I'm bad, I got, but I got some really good pizza. And I'm hungry. So I am buckled in so I won't fall out. I got the windows rolled up so I won't fall out. Actually, you know what? I like to live dangerously. I got my seatbelt on. Let's roll the window down a bit. Okay. Home is not getting any closer. Just sitting here. Off we go. Oh, did I pull up just in time for the Trucker Josh parade? Nice. Every time, nobody on the road until I want to get on the road. And then everybody's on the road. There's another guy coming there. There's more guys coming over there. Ah, I could have made it. I could have made it. Ah, I'm too nice again. Always too nice. Always too, don't want to cut them off. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. Could have cut you off. So I've made an appointment to get my bunk heater uh, fixed, or at least looked at, if I can't fix it before then. It'll be in the new year. Uh, at the same time when this truck goes in for another service, I'm also getting them to do a, an inspection on my frame and all the components that are attached to my frame, like everything. Because my truck is getting older, I like to have uh, qualified, certified eyeballs look my truck up and down every now and then. And since a lot of the paint, or pretty much all of the paint, has come off in the back behind the cab on my frame, I want them to take a look at it and give me a time frame of how long I have before I have to get that thing redone. Like, should I should I get my frame redone now? Because when I get my frame redone, I want to get it stretched a little bit as well, right? About 24 inches. I have to make sure I stay within 75 feet of total length of my vehicle to be legal in Canada. Turn right on Washington Street, MM210. So I want to put 24 inches on the frame. I think I can get away with 36 inches, but just to be safe, I'm going to stick with uh, 24, maybe 30. We'll, see. we'll do some measurements, but probably just 24 inches. That way I'll also be able to attach an APU to my frame at one point in the future. It'll give me some room on the frame there. Because right now I got no room to put it there. Right on Washington Street, MM210. So getting the frame redone is going to be kind of a big job. It's probably going to be about three weeks from what I've heard and the estimates. So I'll have to rent a truck for that time. I've already looked into that. Probably jump into another one of our trucks, but uh, since I'm owner op, I have to, uh, I'd have to rent another truck. It's either that or I'm taking a three week vacation. And honestly, it's Christmas time. I can't afford that right now. I just bought a new house or a new to us house, I can't afford to take three weeks off while they redo my frame. So I won't be making as much money because I'll have to pay that extra payment, but hey, a little bit of money is better than no money. So that's why I'm getting them to take a look at my frame now so that they can tell me, hey, do we need to do this like now, now? Can we do it next summer or can I wait a year or two, right? Like how, what's, what's the issue? What's, uh, what's going on here? So, it'll be a bit of a bigger bill again. But uh, hopefully I can get the bunk heater fixed myself. Like I'm gonna run it through with just pure kerosene for a while, see if that'll sort of burn everything out of there. But you know, that's only a temporary band-aid. That's not gonna do the full job. 
I need to take the whole thing apart and either clean it or replace the whole thing. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, it's got a it's got a date anyways to get that looked at. Then uh, yeah, the frame and also a full service. Full and complete service, which is also a full and complete inspection, which I like to do about every six weeks. Just to keep my truck right at the top notch. So that there's no surprises anywhere. So when I pull into a scale, if they want to inspect my truck, I'll be like, all right, bud, good luck. <laughs> I have a high standard for the maintenance of my truck. I'm not saying I'm perfect, like stuff breaks. You know, it, it happens, but... Uh, Usually I know about it before it happens, but sometimes the things catch me off guard. And I like to stay on top of it anyway, the best I can. Cheap juice, here I come. All right, now which way was the right way to come in here again? Last time we came in from the other side, right? And we had determined together that I was the one that was in the pumps backwards. So this time we're gonna come in this way. The main pump will be on my driver's side, which means I'm going in the correct way, right? You see, there's no way no sign to say which way to come from. And guys come from both directions all the time. But here, oh no, no, no! I did it again. The main pump is on the passenger side. Oh, my backwards again? Is this the way I was last time? I'm doing this right this time. I am turning around, I am going into the pumps the correct way. Every time I forget, which way is it? it reminds me, it's this way. It wasn't that way, it's this way. Do a little loop here to avoid all these potholes. I don't want to lose my soul in one of those. Who knows, they can go all the way down to the pits of hell. Those look pretty deep. Okay, okay. Well, if I'm going this way, I'm taking the one closest to the building. That's my level of laziness today. Friday, what? Okay, 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 so now the main pump is on the driver's side. Okay, this is the correct way to do this. All right, all right, all right. Man, I'm just filthy from my tarps. I need to buy new tarps. I already have some that I've got my eyeballs set on. Uh, just wait until the right time. So many expenses. It's got a little bit of catching up to do yet. A few months of catching up from the house, buying the house. And then uh, kind of we've got some furniture too. A few months, a few months. Hopefully next spring, spring or summer, I can buy my new tarps. They're gonna be blue, just like the ones I have now. Uh, probably 18 ounce lumber tarps, eight foot drops, flap in the front and back, and a center tarp that goes in there as well. Uh, probably 18 feet long at least. I want to see if I can get 20 feet long, but at least 18 with three tarps. 18, 18, and 18. That's 54 feet. I only have a 53 foot trailer. Right? Is that right? 18, 18, and 836. 54, right? I don't know. I can't math right now. But if I get 20 foot ones, then I have three 20 foot ones. So wait, I'm trying to get my shoes on here. Then I have 60 feet of tarp. That's plenty enough to cover my whole trailer with plenty of overlap. Let's see what happens. New tarps are approximately uh, said and done once they're on, like in my possession. It'll be about $1,100 Canadian or like $900 American or so. So it's not, they're not cheap, but they last a while if you take care of them. And the much anticipated report paid $3.71 per gallon US or $1.332 per liter Canadian with all conversions. I bought 159 US gallons or 601.884 liters. Averaged 41.06 liters per 100 kilometers or 5.73 miles per gallon. We were underneath that six benchmark that we're trying to hit. That's okay, try better next time. It costed me, in US dollars, 
$8.73 cents, and in Canadian, it cost me $801.71 Canadian. It was 1,466 kilometers since my last fill, which cost me 47 cents per kilometer. Slot of October 7th, which forced Israel to war. Ibeno or Shabuteno? Our hearts and thoughts go out to the 137 hostages who remain captive in Gaza. Together with them, all of the heroes whose heroism and valor of spirit shine the mission for which we are fighting to return the hostages back home and to guarantee the security of the state of Israel. Admiral Agali further addressed Israel's northern front after. Looks like it's gonna be a white Christmas after all. This literally started right at the Canadian border. Right at the border, as soon as I cross the border. So now we're back in our yard, I'm gonna leave my trailer here and then go home. Oh, there's another guy right here. Is that Dad? No, that's not Dad, it's a truck just like Dad's. Not quite, a different paint. It's another Freightliner classic. Well, what are the chances of that? I know he's just getting home tonight, but I think he's already at home. Or at his shop, anyway. No, that guy's a flat better. Let's throw this trailer in the line up here. It's supposed to snow pretty hard all night, but then uh, that's it. Well, that's not too bad. Wait for it, wait for it, oh, oh yeah. Traffic was absolutely brutal. Like grade A nasty. It was nasty. It's like people had never seen snow before. It was the first snowfall they've ever seen in their entire lives. So why don't we all go 10 miles an hour? Better safe than sorry, I guess, eh? Whatever. At least they're not going 100 miles an hour. But man, did it take forever to get here. Whew. And I just came from the border at Tolstoy up to uh, like Southern Winnipeg here. Just wanna drop this trailer off here so I don't have to worry about it over the weekend. It'll be here because uh, because that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> All right, come on, get out of here. Oh man, let's see this. Nasty. Nasty. Gotta grab my jorps there. Oh man. Nasty. Oh. See? Nasty. I'll have to show it to you once I get to the shop. Have I mentioned it's nasty? Hey, just because I'm Canadian doesn't mean I have to like this stuff. I don't mind it once it's already on the ground and off the road. It's just the whole process of it falling from the sky onto the road. Actually, you know what? I actually like it. I like, I like heavy snowfall when I'm inside my warm house and not on the road. So, I guess there's a time and a place for everything. This is not the time or the place for snow. Could have just waited like 45 minutes and I'd be at home and then it could snow all at once. All right, I just got it in there and I can hear it. <laughs> Look at this mess. It's just as nasty as before. Look at that. Man. Look at everything in there. That is crazy. Ah, uh, I shouldn't say that's so crazy. It's the same thing as it is every year, right? 
Uh, except for thankfully, this time I won't have to shovel all this water out of here in the morning. We got a different shop this year, specifically for that reason, among other reasons, but that was a big part of it, that drain. My other shop didn't have a drain, and every time I'd bring the truck in in wintertime, I'd have to come in first thing the next morning and squeegee it all out. It was just a, like a freshwater lake every, every time. Look at this. Days like this are the reason why I have a shop to park it in. Otherwise, this would all just sit like this. So I'll, I'll let it uh, do its thing here overnight and probably pop by here tomorrow and rinse all the salt off of it. And then we'll be uh, ready to go Monday. I don't have a plan for Monday yet, so I gotta wait till Monday morning. It's Friday evening right now. I gotta wait till Monday morning to see if there's a plan. At least Old Blue is nice and warm, tucked away and doesn't have to sleep out in the cold. First big snowfall of the year here. The first really big one anyway. Noteworthy, the first noteworthy one. Bye bye snow. I pay good money for you to go down there. Pay good money every month just so I could have that. You did good this week, Blue. You did good. Most of the snow's melted off already and gone. I've got my stuff all packed up in the pickup truck. I'm ready to go home. Britt just messaged me, said Theo's getting pretty tired, so he wants to go to bed. I want to put him to bed. So, time to go home. We'll see you soon, Blue, all right? I'm gonna, I haven't forgotten about your marker light out there with a couple of lights that are out. Don't worry. Don't worry, I've got spares in the back. I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it. Life is busy. Life is busy. Blue understands. It's busy. Right, old Blue? You understand. Look at you. Don't look so sad. Don't do that to me. No. No. We are happy. We are a happy family. We're going to go back trucking soon, okay? Couple of days. I gotta go home, okay? Gotta go home. You, you, you hang out here with, with Rocky, all right? You and Rocky, you take care of each other, okay? I'll be back soon, okay? All right? I love you. See you soon. What? I'm not weird. I don't know why you'd say that. Just love my truck, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs>